Today we're um, in the process of getting our Ultra 4 Mod Class 4500 car all prepped and ready for Ridgecrest, which is coming up next week. And as we all know, we lost a really, really, really good friend, driver, teammate, really good friend of, personally of mine, um, Jesse Combs. An idea that a teammate of, and myself had talked about just a couple of days ago, and it was, what if we put the car back to the Jesse Gold car? You know, we thought, hey, it'd be a great idea to make a tribute to her. She's, she did so much for the sport, so much for Savvy, so much for all our sponsors. So we've rewrapped the 88, and we'll compete in the last couple races for Ultra 4. And uh, it looks like the car that she would be proud of to drive again. So to that end, we created the 88 and, and the Jesse Combs special. And that was our tribute to her. And it's the least we can do. And I'll never forget from SEMA. She's doing interviews and she walked over and kissed the cow on the Mary's car and said, here. I love this car. <laughs> I love this car. I love seeing it. I just, like, watch. I just she it. said, this is like, my baby. This is my baby. My baby. And dedicate this race as a tribute to her and all her fans and all her friends and family and everyone. I'm not gonna, I'm not a prayer guy, so let's just take a moment to so remember her. I wanted to just finish. I had no idea I was actually gonna take first place. This is unbelievable. Everybody's racing, ready to come tomorrow. So one of the reasons why we, we wound up doing uh, the, this tribute to, uh, to Jesse is she was, uh, she was not only our teammate, but she was, she was a really great friend of ours. Yeah, I think she's smiling down on us today. Repair this way while she's been driving most we of the day with it. once beat the hell out of it again. We just ran the uh, Jesse Combs livery wrap on this vehicle. Uh, it's a tribute to her of her passing. And you know, Jesse Combs and I, we were teammates uh, in 2018. And uh, you know, just, just getting to know her and seeing what type of person she was, I'm truly honored and blessed to be able to run this car. Very unique person and I was so blessed to know her. She would help anybody that needed it and always there for anybody. Made everybody feel like family. She's gonna be missed. You can remember her a lot of different ways. Uh, you can remember her as a friend, you can remember her as a competitor, as an uh, inspiration, a lot of different things that Jessie was. I knew her um, for years before I started King of the Hammers. I've been very fortunate that I could call her a friend. Um, keep going fast, Jessie. She, she didn't mind, she was fearless in whatever she did, you know, and, and that's what made it Jessie, Jessie. And, and, and she was a badass. She was a true badass. Wanted to be the best. She wanted to be a champion. She wanted to be a winner. So there was always, always, always with her um, perfection. And that's why I say I've never met a driver that had so much passion to want to be known as a champion. And she was.